Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I want to show you something completely different because it's another DIY project. It's a studio watercolor box to fit all my Schminke watercolors and here's the list of the parts along with some additional stuff like hinges and locks and also the list of the materials I used. I mostly used materials I had left from my other DIY projects. Ok, so let me tell you why I'm doing this and what this will be. As you know, I'm using a lot of colors while I paint with watercolors. I use my Schminke set, which is 48 colors. But I have also some additional colors that I don't use so much, but I don't like to just shut them into a drawer so they never see the light of day and I never use them. So I wanted a bigger box that I can put all my Schminke paints in. But there is no box like this that you can buy, so I was using two metal trays from the 48 color sets. So one inside the metal box and one like to the side. And this did not look so good, so I wanted to make a watercolor box that will fit the 48 colors that I use a lot, plus additional 12 colors that I use sometimes. Also I use this palette only in my studio, so only when I paint at home. I don't take it outside. So this new box also doesn't have to be portable or light, it just has to be practical to use on my table. So I wanted to make a box that I can prop at an angle and it has a nice lid so I can shut it when I'm not working so no dust goes into my watercolors because Schminke watercolors and other brands like ones that are based on honey for example stay moist almost all the time even if you don't use them and they catch dust and those small hair and particles really well and later this dust is transferred to your paintings of course so I wanted a nice lid that I can prop open but it also stays kind of open at a an angle so I can put a chart of colors on it and of course I wanted to put the watercolors in so they don't fall out or rattle around when I take the box with me somewhere. So you could see me measure everything using empty Schminke watercolor pans so I know the sizes and I know that they will fit well. I then cut everything, sanded everything with sanding paper and then put everything together with small nails and glue. I then temporarily added the lid with the hinges and the locks to try them out and then sanded the whole box together so everything fits nicely and there are no sharp edges on the outside. I then took it apart once again and painted it with urethane coating just two times to make it a little bit more stain proof. So even if I paint it with watercolors accidentally, and I will, I will be able to clean it up. The last step was adding the swiveled leg. I wanted to try the box before I add it because I was not sure if I really need it or not. But the box worked better when angled so I decided to add the leg. I cut the piece, painted it and attached it with hinges. I later added some small details like felt feet on the bottom of the box so it's easier on the desk surface and a metal lock that prevents accidental closing of the lid and limits the angle at which it stays. The last step was of course putting in the watercolors, so I chose which colors will go in and at what order I did some swatches to decide that and I put everything in. In those places where the rows turned out a little bit too big for the pans, so the pans rattled, I put thin double sided tape to stick them to the bottom of the box so they don't move around. Ok so this is how the box turned out, I'm really happy about it actually and I will use it today for the first time. Because I usually use my ceramic palette and ceramic dishes for mixing the colors, the box is really compact, it doesn't have any mixing spaces but it fits a lot of watercolors in a small package, especially when I close it up and close the leg, the prop, its footprint is really small actually. I would like to make some additions, like adding ribbons inside of the watercolor rows so I can pull all the pans in a row just by tagging the ribbon up like you do in battery compartments. But this is for the future and for now I want to use it as it is. I hope you liked this kind of video DIY project. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. It's because of your Patreon support that I can do this kind of private projects. Thank you very much. This is it for this video, see you in the next one. Bye.